Hi guys, um, just a heads up that hopefully I'll be back on Friday um, if all goes well because I still seem to be fine with no symptoms. So yeah, um, okay, so take out your maths books if they're not already out and rule off after the last work that you did. And then you can write down the heading, which is topic 16, exercise 2 and the date and the first question. Um, and then once you've written down the first question, I want you to factorize it and simplify it using factorization. So don't split it up and make it both over 2x. I want you to factorize the numerator, cancel out um, what can cancel and give me your answer. And then we can carry on with this video. So Ms. Delafield, please will you pause the video? Thank you. Okay, so um, you should have seen that the denominator can't be factorized because it's one term. So I'm looking at this top part and seeing, all right, is there a highest common factor? Okay, there is a highest common factor that can go into 6 and 8, which is 2. And then the most amount of x's I can take out as a highest common factor is x squared. Okay, so basically I'm dividing by 2 x squared. Um, all right, so if I take that out as a highest common factor, remember to write it as a numerator in the numerator. So I'm going to say 6 divided by 2, that will give me 3 x cubed divided by x squared, that will give me x. Then 8 divided by 2 will give me 4, and x squared divided by x squared, right, they cancel out, or you're left with 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. All right, then I can start cancelling out, so the 2 and the 2 will cancel, and then one of these x's in the denominator will cancel with one of these in the numerator, and I'm still left with um, 1x in the numerator, which is not here for some reason on the video, um, so please will you put it in, so it should be x, open bracket, 3x minus 4, and then you leave it like that. Okay, so x, open bracket, 3x minus 4. All right, then number 2, so copy down number 2 so long, and then we'll get started, and I'm going to do it with you. Okay, so um, number two, I'm going to start with the numerator. Okay, so in my numerator, I can see there's no highest common factor. Okay, there's not x's in both terms, there's not numbers in both terms, can't take out anything. So I first check highest common factor, which it isn't. Then I'm going to go on to dots. Okay, so is it dots? Well, yes, x squared is a, a perfect square, and then 9 is a perfect square, 3 times 3 is 9, and then I've got my negative. Okay, so you're going to have two brackets, um, x plus 3 and x minus 3. Right, then um, I look at my denominator separately and I say, is there a highest common factor? Yes, there is, right? 3 goes into 3 and 9. So if I divide it through by a highest common factor, this part here, if I divide by 3, I'm just going to get x. And this part here, if I divide by 3, I'm going to have negative 3. Then I can start cancelling things out. So copy what, what's there and then I will start cancelling. Cool, so um, the only thing that can really cancel is the the two x minus three. So x minus three cancels with x minus three. And on the top, I'm left with x plus three. And at the bottom, I'm left with three. Okay, remember, you can't now try and cancel those two threes because you have to treat the numerator like it's stuck in a bracket. Okay, because there's two terms in the numerator, I can't just start canceling. So I just leave it like that. All right, copy down number three and... Um, so copy down number three, and then we'll start. Um, Ms. Delafield, can you pause the video until they copy? Thank you. All right, number three. Um, okay, so let's work on it. So here's my numerator, which I'm going to start working with. Is there a highest common factor? No, right? There's not x's in all terms, and all the numbers, there's no highest common factor that goes into 1, 3, and 10. So no highest common factor. Is it dots? No, it can't be dots because there's three terms, so it must be a trinomial. Right, so with a trinomial, I'll always read from the back. So I'm going to have a look at my sign, my last sign, which is a negative. So I know in my brackets I'm going to have 1 plus and 1 minus bracket. Okay. Then I'm going to say, what are the factors of 10? So what do I need to multiply to get 10? That when I subtract the factors, I get 3. Okay, 1 and 10, no, 10 minus 1 gives me 9. 5 and 2, yes, 5 and 2 work, right? 5 minus 2 gives me my middle term, which is positive 3. So 5 minus 2. 
Then I'm going to do the same with the denominator. Okay, so I can see that I'm working with a positive last term. So in my brackets, I'm either going to have two pluses or I'm going to have two minuses. So I'm going to say factors of 10, that when I add the factors, I get 7. And again, it's 5 and 2, but it's positive 5 plus 2. So positive 5, positive 2 gives me positive 7. So I can put those in. So 5 plus 2. And now I can start cancelling. So I'm going to see that the x plus 5s can cancel. These ones here, you can't cancel here. You can't cancel the x's separately and the 2's separately and then leave the negative and the positive. You have to find a whole bracket that's x minus 2. You can't, these are, these are totally different brackets. So that's my answer, x minus 2 over x plus 2. And again, don't try and cancel because you've got two terms on the top and two at the bottom. So you can't cancel the 2s or the x's, nothing like that. All right, number four, um, if you can copy it down, I want you to do number four by yourself and then we'll mark it together and then move on. So if you can please pause the video, Ms. Delafield. Thank you. All right, um, okay, so if I'm looking at my first fraction, I can see that the numerator can't be factorized. The denominator, I can see there's a highest common factor, okay? Three goes into both terms, and there's x's in both terms, so I can take out an x. Okay, so over here, the threes are going to cancel, and the x's are going to cancel, and I'm just left with x. And over here, the x's will cancel, and I'm just left with 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Okay, so you've got x minus 2. Don't forget to write your highest common factor on the outside of that bracket. All right, then um, I'm going to have a look at this numerator. Is there a highest common factor? No, there isn't. Is it dots? Um, well, let's see. Yes, it looks like dots, right? So I need to square root both. So I'm going to have x and I'm going to have 2, right? The square root of 4 is 2. So I know with dots, the one bracket is positive, the other one is negative. So I'm going to have x plus 2, um, x minus 2. Okay. And then the other part, you should have seen that there's a highest common factor. So there's 2, 2 goes into turn 4, and then the most amount of x's I can take out is x to the power of 1. So I write my highest common factor on the outside of the bracket. Then I'm going to say these two 2's cancel, and then I'm left with x here. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then my x's will cancel, so I'm just left with 2. Okay, now I need to start cancelling things out. If there's, you can cancel out any numerator um, that's the same as any denominator. Okay, so it doesn't have to be in two different fractions. All right, so I'm going to start by canceling out my x minus 2 brackets. I can also cancel the x plus 2 brackets, right? Those ones cancel too. Then I'm going to cancel this x with this x here. And I'm going to cancel my 3. 3 goes into itself once and into 12 four times. Okay, so if I have a look at my numerator, the only thing that's left in my numerator is this 4. And then if I have a look at my denominator, the only thing that's left is the 2x. So that's what I'm left, 4 over 2x. But then I can still further, like, cancel. Okay, so I can say, well, 4 over 2, that's the same as 2 over 1. So I'm just going to have 2 over 1x. And that's my final answer. Okay. Um, okay, so depending on which class you are, either you 9b or 9c, not saying which is the better class, but okay. Um, either you guys um, are going to do this now or it's going to be for homework, but this is the exercise that I want you to do. So please write it down, exercise 16.6 .6 on page 182, and you're doing number 1, 2, and 3. Please don't do 3e. Okay. Good luck, guys.